Heat waves, our floods, our droughts, our storms. About seven million deaths a year that we suffer from, from air pollution. I would say there are three kinds of health emergencies that can be triggered by climate change. First is those direct emergencies, heat waves, wildfires, floods, droughts, and so on. The same burning of fossil fuels, which is driving the climate crisis, also contributes to about seven million deaths a year that we suffer from, from air pollution. Climate crisis is undermining all of the environmental determinants of health. It's making it harder to provide water and sanitation or food systems. And it's actually rising sea levels, which are making some parts of the world uh, uninhabitable. In fact, the most common uh, form of health emergency, the most deadly form of health emergency that we have now is extreme heat. And the climate crisis is only making that a much bigger problem. Often that's in the form of uh, providing relief after a population is hit by a flood or a storm or a drought. But what we're also having to do is to support countries to make them resilient to repeated events. So we're having to build in long-term resilience to the, the health threats presented by climate change.